Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Pretty Little Liar. Wait, no, it's the other one with liars, right? Little fires everywhere? No, lies. Something with big in it. Not the other one with Reese Witherspoon. Big Little Lies? Wait, no. It has Reese Witherspoon's ex husband in it, Ryan Felipe. It's Big Sky. Oh my goodness. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways. I am going to be reviewing the first episode of Big Sky today. I'm not going to get into too many spoilers, but at the same time, I'm talking about the episode, so there's going to be some spoilers, but I won't give away the ending because the ending has a huge shocker. But this show, it doesn't really feel like your typical network drama, if that makes any sense. It isn't like one episode and then a new case. It is a continuing thing, at least as far as I know. And it is a little darker, I feel like, and a little more mature than the typical network drama. But that's what I have to say about that. It did mention the pandemic briefly. They said this restaurant closed down because of the pandemic. But at the same time, it didn't really seem like anyone was following the rules of the pandemic. Nobody was wearing masks. Nobody was social distancing. Nobody seemed to care. So I don't know why they even mentioned it. It was not necessary to mention it. I don't think every show needs to mention the pandemic. I think some shows should. But a show like this, where it's already a little bit kind of we're out in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of not really something that is too common you know it's about kidnappings which obviously unfortunately does happen but at the same time it's like it's not a common thing so maybe we want to kind of disconnect it a little bit and maybe make it feel like this isn't really our real world we're living in here but they did mention the pandemic you know when i saw the trailer it looked intense it looked very different than your typical network drama but I guess a lot of shows and movies that have kidnapping in it, it's intense in the moment, but then they get rescued usually, and it's all good. They don't really get into the details of the victim and what goes on there. They, they just get kidnapped, and it's usually about the rescuers trying to rescue the kidnapping victim. This show has the kidnapping victims and then it also has some other characters. Now, it's getting a little dark for me. Um, by the end of the episode, we see they're kind of locked up in chains and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I am getting into spoilers. But by the end of the episode, they're locked up in chains and they're kind of like in a crate and it's not looking good. It's looking quite dark and a little too real because I know things like this happen and it's kind of like I don't really want to watch that. I know what happens and I don't want it to happen and I don't really want to see it either. But at the same time, I am intrigued so I do want to watch the next episode and if it gets too dark, I probably will stop watching the show but hopefully they'll get rescued and I mean as far as actual kidnapping victims, I obviously hope that doesn't happen to begin with but it's just scary that it does in all seriousness there i wasn't really expecting to be so disturbed like i kind of said i accepted it expected it to be intense but not really like dark and kind of almost realistic there is a little bit of an annoying romantic drama going on but i don't think that's going to be a major presence in later episodes now that new issues have developed i'm not going to spoil the major kind of shocking double shocker there is a double shocker if you want to comment down below and talk about that shocker feel free to if you haven't seen the episode yet you probably don't want to look in the comment section this show i mean it's good but it also is okay I wasn't like amazed. It was definitely intense once we got into it. The beginning was a little slow. And honestly, the main characters I didn't really like. I liked the highway patrol, is that what he was? With the kind of cowboy looking hat. <laughs> I liked that character and I thought he was an interesting character. But the other ones, you know, you got Ryan Felipe who's like, who basically cheated on 
his wife and then he's going back with his wife and he's kind of back and forth and just kind of like what we don't that's so feels so important unimportant to the plot and i'm more interested in these two young women who got kidnapped and i feel like they're more interesting characters but anyways let me know what you all thought of this episode. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it if you think you can handle something like this. It is a very serious subject, so I completely understand if you don't want to watch it. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this review, and like and subscribe, and all that stuff if you would like. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and God bless.